Hello Space Engineers, Wellington6012 here and welcome back to Finding the Factorum. How are you all going? Hope you are good. You find me, you find me where you left me last time? Uh, yeah, actually I don't think I've done anything, almost nothing since last time. Uh, I don't actually know, I can't remember. So, <laughs> uh, it doesn't look like I've done anything. I did move that, I did that last night, it was too tired to start recording, but uh, yeah, I moved that and I moved the assembler. Um, sorry, I moved the assembler. In order to move the assembler, I needed to put these parts somewhere, so that's what I did. Uh, and then got very tired and decided, nope, not going to start recording, so into it today. It's the weekend. Uh, yes, so three things that I think I want to achieve today. One is to move and install these hydrogen tanks. One, two, three hydrogen tanks. So they will go out here. Uh, and I think that'll probably be a time lapsey thing because I have got uh, my old mate Future Wellington with his camera over here somewhere. There it is. Hello. Ha. Uh, right. And yeah, so that's um, that's the plan there. So I'm going to stack them, not stack them. I'm going to line them up down here. So there'll be like a big platform at the front here. And also I'll put some more magnetic plates on purple temporary. Uh, that so that's going to be the second thing is to well it could be the third thing I might do that as the second thing um, but the other thing is to take all the parts off that I need from this to take with me so I'm thinking the vents the thrusters O2 the batteries yeah I think so um, maybe a couple of cargo containers I'm not sure about the ions I think I might just leave or break them down maybe yeah anyway that's cool because I think when I head off I'll probably uh, despawn this and we'll just say we're done with it hmm so that's the other thing and the the third thing or maybe the second thing if we're doing it in that order uh, will be to finish off the habitation put in some uh, words accommodation for myself and probably future Wellington too yeah so that's all looking pretty good I feel like I need to put something over there maybe just uh, like a uh, let's go in the airlock shall we maybe something just like a planter might do the trick because originally the fish were there weren't they let's do that because uh, I did put some lights in here I don't think I did anything else yeah so this is empty so Either I didn't do anything, or I didn't write it down. Yeah, I think just a, like a light thing there. Well, um, no, maybe, maybe, a, oh no, we've got drinks around here. Okay, so yeah. Maybe a nice, a nice uh, planter box. So yeah, so that's that's the plan. Uh, I think today will be a little bit of a choppy choppy day. Uh, I'm just run this group. Trying to remember where stuff is. Go. Awesome, but uh, very happy with progress. Very happy with progress, actually, and it's been a good little, um, a good little challenge. This. Okay, so uh, let's head back out now that I've done that. That's cool. Okay, um, yeah, and then when we get over to Europa, we'll park this in orbit, and that's kind of the goal for today, I think. And yeah, so what I was going to do is just before I kick into the old time lapsey thing. Uh, is get some steel lots of steel and actually I probably didn't want lots of steel I probably wanted conveyors hmm so what I was sort of thinking was to have the tanks recessed so like this. Do I want them? Yeah, I probably do want them lined up so they don't get killed, um, dealt to by the thruster. Like that, and like that. So I'll just show you what the plan is. Brick over cameras. So it's going to be lots, lots of welding. Like so. And yeah, I'll close that in once the actual thing's in. And then we can put the conveyor 
along here, which I'll need some parts for conveyor. I'll just need to make some room. Energy low. Ugh, already. Okay, let's go. And so then this will go across like this. So it's going to be lots of welding. Lots of welding. No plans for a welding ship. I do have plans for a grinding ship, but that's not an immediate thing whatsoever because I have plans. So anyway, that's kind of the setup there. And yeah, we'll move those tanks out. And uh, yeah, I think, uh, I think that's a rough plan. So I might just turn off this camera and just get future Wellington to watch, I think. Pokey pokey, welcome back. It's been a little while. I've done quite a bit of stuff, some on and off camera. Uh, so, before I get into that, there has been a development. Yes, uh, the new unidentified signal has spawned over Europa, about where I want to go actually. Well, I don't know where I want to go. And that's moving. That is moving. I didn't realize that was moving. Is that coming towards me? No, it's getting further away. Uh, that is moving. Hmm. That um, changes things somewhat. Did I not... Oh, why did I not GPS the station that was in orbit? Hmm. Uh, yeah, okay. Well, I don't think that's going to affect us much today. 
but it's certainly something to consider next time assuming it's still there when we get around to leaving because this took a while and actually didn't take that long uh but yes that's that is that is certainly something for future wellington to deal with right so let's have a little bit of a little bit of a look see so i've, I've just just turn the camera back on after moving the gravity gen and reprogramming the uh, sensor and i had to do, use some time to turn it off because it wasn't clicking because i've got two sensors there's another one over here there it is uh yeah so anyway that's uh that's all good now so that's that's awesome so yeah i replicated actually just while looking under here i uh, sort of replicated what's going on down here so i think that works quite well yeah it um gives a bit of structural integrity to it and yeah it it, it kind of just happened i didn't plan to go to this extent but it did um i think these will keep going up but we'll just leave them for now uh my intentions are that when i get some more fuel tanks i'll actually grind this out and extend this so they'll be uh too wide and probably too high so we'll have four here four there and four down there and i think that will look pretty good yes yeah, so that's the plan uh, i thought that i would just do some stuff here before we get into doing the wall uh before we get into the habitation because i thought it might be quite cool to have some sort of smokestacks or something down the end uh yeah i think that's what i want to do i'm gonna need some metal uh and some of these let's just uh lay things out and have a bit of a think about because then i thought i could put thrusters on the end now do i i probably want it over this side don't i let's do that so i've actually uh anticipating that i'm going to grind these out they're only half blocks in there so but i thought we won't do it now we'll just wait until then so that could come because hmm. I was thinking like the thrusters and things okay let's just put some more blocks on here for now and then I can build on top of it yeah I think that's the way to go because we've got this back thrust but I think we probably need some more and I thought down here I mean I could even do down thrust as well a couple more of them might be quite useful I don't think we need more sideways, just back thrust. So, if I was to go with one of these, maybe, and a T-junction. Mr. T-junction. And then, because I only, well, we could go three. We'll go three, shall we? Then I'll go down here. I think that'll work. And we'll put three things on there. You'll do. That will do very nicely. So if I was to put a bed on there, that would just save me a trip. I'll do them all in one go. Very good. Oh, why did I park so far away? Never mind. Okay, grab this. Oh, I sort of want to actually grab it with the other. No, oh, never mind. Let's try and get a little bit of an angle. Talking to myself. Mumble, mumble, mumble. Okay, uh, right. Let's just try and latch onto that. Hopefully, fingers crossed. Almost. Yeah. Okay, line that up with the other one. Ooh, that way. So I think I've got a gap for a hydrogen engine. Does this have a hydrogen engine on board? Let me check that. Yeah. Right, away we go. I think this is going to be good this is going to be good so that'll be enough thrusters oh we're not going to have any thrusters for the other end oh okay that's 
possibly a little bit of a problem. Uh, we'll let future ones worry about that. Okay, uh, let's do that. That. Yeah, because I reckon I could put. Hmm. Probably want this to actually be one of these ones. Which is what I had there. I'll probably edit it out, but it moves moves these a lot. Yeah, I think that'll do. That'll be fine. That'll be fine. Okay. Let's just put these in. I'm pretty sure there's an engine. Oh yeah, there is an engine. It was where um where the t I think there's two engines actually because where we came in the front and remember there was that little trap with the interior turret I think they are oh, okay they're not there did I did I grind them down I must have ground them down I don't think you're attached anymore just look crooked. Something's something's crooked in here. I think it's you. Okay, we better take that refinery with us. Actually, I'm not doing that right now, am I? Getting onto the other thing. But that is not attached. Um, I think there's an engine. No, oh, you're not attached either. Or you. Oh, gosh. Is something actually attached to this thing? There we go. Oxygen generator. Uh, engine. Nope. There's one down here. What about you? No, that's all connected still. Okay, well, hmm. I'm sure I had an engine. Must not have an engine anymore. I think I must have ground it down. Whoops. Never mind. Easy come, easy go. I'm sure we'll find other ones. But yeah, that, that could actually go just on the end there. I think that'll work out quite well. Uh, yeah, so let's put another one of those on. Okay, so that gives us five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, that's good. That's good to have that going in that direction. Uh, I'm going to need more steel. So... Uh, yeah, more steel to fill in these bits. And I think if we have it kind of lopsided and try and get it asymmetrical, I think that's going to be a win. That's good. And yeah, we could even put some fuel containers or something around here, I'd imagine. Yeah, that's all a bit of a plan. So I'm sort of thinking some of these. That's probably well, probably going to be enough. Put another couple on. What I'll do is I'll just color code them like that, like that. Go white on there. Then we'll go back to this, and we'll put an exhaust on. Exhaust. You can go on the top. I think this will work out quite well. Yeah, I don't know about... Well, no, it's, it's, it's as good as any... It's as good as any... Um, pipe type thing. Yeah, that's what we want. And we'll put... Got to put a flame on it. I know we're in space. I know we're in a vacuum. But... Got to have a flame on it. Thrusters, water section. Let's just add those on there. And we'll take them off the terminal. And... What's looking for? Exhaust. Exhaust, exhaust, exhaust. There it is. Uh, we'll go for fire and smoke. Very good. Hmm, doesn't seem very big. Can I change it? No. Let's just go back in. Exhaust. Let's do 
that small. Oh, whoops. My mistake. Oh, that's better. That's better. I just think that will really add something. I do want a couple, though, I feel like. So we've got that one there. Hmm. Maybe I do put one down this corner. Let's do that. Iron smoke. Turn that off. Yeah. I think that works. Does that... They don't need to be the same height. I think that's... That's cool. I might put some lights on at some point. Warning lights. That'll be useful. We've got them underneath. So, yeah. Hopefully they don't crash into things. Oh, that's real cool. Yeah, so I'll put some greebling and stuff around here at some point. Uh, not right now. So, let's get into doing the accommodation section. So what I was kind of thinking, I'm just looking at this, I mean, we could come around into here, but actually I think maybe we try and make this a really strange kind of shape. Not strange, just strange. Uh, yeah, okay, so we're going to have to put some blocks in. Let's go back into this. And I'm just going to go there. Because, yeah, we'll make this a little bit of a hallway, I guess. Like that. And then we'll go like that. Yeah, we need to put these blocks in underneath. Okay, this is going to take a little bit of figuring out, I believe. So I might just play this one by ear.
Right, uh, sit rep, just turn the camera back on, just turn the game back on, because I have been away from it a little while, and I did not get that right, I forgot to put in the thing that I ground out, the, uh, that's not the one, uh, one of these things, uh, yeah, just, I've been away from the game a few days, just because of life getting in the way, stupid life, always getting in the way. Uh, yes, yeah, so I have been away for a couple of days from when I finished off the last... Whoa, that was pretty good. Uh, from when I finished off the last stuff. And I'll show you that momentarily. I just want to do some stuff on this. I know, I think I think I'm just going to do this off camera, but here I am doing it on camera. Because um, I just feel like I need to do it. Let's just put this in. Yeah, so it took quite some time to uh, do all the building. Uh, it was quite a challenge, a good challenge. I enjoyed it, you know, I was just, just chilling out. I had streams going, so there wasn't a lot of recording going on. It's taken a number of hours to get to the point where we are now. So, for instance, a little bit of an update. The signal, the unidentified signal that was in orbit of Europa is no longer there, it disappeared. So it, it definitely was not two hours, that one, um, because this one, i trying to remember, I don't think that's actually the one that replaced it. I think there was another one that replaced it and was hanging around for about two hours, and then this is this is another one again. So, But that definitely wasn't two hours, the one that was around Europa, which I think maybe because it was moving, maybe it was, um, yeah, shorter, and, and it wasn't far away. I don't think it was luck that it was that close. I think it was actually designed to be that close and that's why it didn't hang around that's my theory that could just be a complete coincidence uh who knows not me so yeah may have missed an opportunity uh because having it so close to but i'm in no position to be taking it on although i say i might have missed an opportunity because potentially uh i would have had the ability to use a safe zone as a sort of fallback position um, so yeah, maybe it was a missed opportunity, but never mind. Let's uh, continue with this. Ah, oh, see, this is good. The rationalised build menu we get in this where we want them. It's all good. Yeah, so that's good. I mean, I could almost split these up into half ones. You know, have a half group. But no, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Okay, I will put some more vents and not vents. Um, uh, access ports and things as well i've already done those here okay so i wonder if i actually put the um the helm here because this is kind of the front it might make a good spot for it actually should we do that we'll move the helm up there and it may actually be permanent because i was thinking that i could put like some sort of control tower thing here but i don't know where it would quite go but that would give it a bit of height and a bit of view over this, but the thing would be accessing it would be the problem. Yeah, I guess I wouldn't actually need to be able to access it from the inside. I could keep it independent. Uh, those batteries are turned off intentionally. Intentionally? Intentionally. Uh, because I've got this battery here connected. So the station's being fed off that at the moment. I'm not recharging those at the moment, but that's powering the station, so that's good. Uh in there, so let's put a helm in, there we go, I think that would be quite good, yeah, uh, let's just take that off there and there, I think we've got other things, okay, so that's good, uh, yeah, so we've got room for an engine there, I, yeah, what was with that, I wonder who ground down those ones, must have been that other guy, uh, yes, so that's that. So, this area here, let me show you. I've done some... I'll go on the inside in a second, but on the outside, sort of duplicated this exterior look here. Okay, and then move the gyroscopes down here, and they've got their own sort of little access way. So I think that's a nice use of that little, little corner. I've got the conveyors across the top, so that's kind of replicating what's going on in there. Uh, oh, don't drive into that um and then around this side we've got this kind of look here which is kind of replicated here to a certain extent uh still got a gap for another thruster which i've run out 
of hydrogens. So that'll be that'll go in there. That's why that's like that. And yeah, got a nice little uh, a bay window type thing, a nice place to sit. So we'll go inside and have a look. Yeah, I just need to figure out what I'm doing in this section here. It'll probably be more accommodation and stuff, but um, yeah, I'll come to that momentarily. So in here, uh, it is airtight. It does work. I just got the door open because of course the corridor's not connected. Um, but yeah, so nice habitation area. Got Izzy's inventory manager there. And yeah, got the new desk, which works well with this bookshelf. So I'm going to kind of, yeah, that's all good. Another fish tank. That's two fish tanks. Just saying. Um, and yeah, bathroom in there. That's my bunk. Yeah, so it's pretty standard layout. Got the old Netflix going. And yeah, nice little bay window to sit down and absorb the universe, the Milky Way. Yeah, so that's, um, that's come out really well. I'm liking it. Uh, I... I did think about putting another airlock in here and having a access port uh, for connecting on to ships, you know, one with a, um, a dock type thing, you know, uh, but there's, I, I just could not get, could not get the conveyor to come out the bottom, um, there's no real way through for it, so yeah, may have to do that, you know, sort of out one of these bits here or something. Uh, or maybe it goes out the back, I'm not sure, but probably, I don't know, I don't know, we'll figure that one out later, if I can need it. Okay, so that's, uh, that's that, uh, I just noticed there's a well pad there, so we might go and get that, uh, we might get that antenna just while we're here. So my plan for the next little bit is uh, I do need to get this finished because I've kind of got to release this video in about 12 hours, so, <laughs> so I've got to uh, got to get a wriggle on. Um, yeah, so I'm going to, what am I going to do? I'm going to get this antenna. So everything on this mercenary ship is pretty much, uh, pretty much disconnected, so I'm just going to have to load it up. Um, but yeah, I'm also going to have a go at doing that last little habitation. Let's just try and put you on there. And we'll try and do this. So yeah, they, they, this is all pretty much salvaged. And you can see there's a lot of things floating around by themselves. Uh, I tell you what, I probably don't need all these cargo containers. Let's break you down, because I've already got one over there. I might break you down as well so that'll give me two i'll take the air vents with me because i don't know when i'm going to find another one of those and i will take this uh, o2 gen as well yeah so i'll load all those up i think i'll just break down the ion thrusters uh yeah i think that's probably where we go uh, got a lot of stuff no we're fine okay that's good uh, oh, I should put a well pad on while I'm here. Cool, cool. Okay. That's awesome. Yeah, because I want to get into orbit of Europa and then sort of do the next step. I don't even know what that is yet, but uh, we'll figure that one out. Um, yeah, it's, it's good to get this high, uh, habitation done. Uh, always leave it too late, so it's going to be good to have it done nice and early to enjoy, and we can... I'm thinking just get to Europa, that way we can be in a nice, I'm not going to say safe, but relatively safe. You know, we've got access to the trading outpost. Instead of just being kind of out here in the middle of nowhere by ourselves, it might just be nice to be close to, close to uh, somewhere that can give us a bit of protection if we need it. Oh, look at that, that's just worked. Awesome. Uh, try backwards. Why am I not unlocking? I'm done. Okay. So that's uh that's good. Good, good, good. Um Yeah, that's good. I'll just dock this. Dunk. <laughs> and we're there. Okay, a little bit crooked, never mind, it's fine. Uh, yeah, so that's that's that. So just need to figure out what I'm doing at the back here. So we've already got thrusters covered. I think one's going to be enough for Ford. We've got five down here. 
because we've got four there, and then we've got two. Oh, I mean, that one probably shouldn't be there. We could probably get rid of that one. In all honesty, we could get rid of that one as well, probably. We'll leave that one, but that one's going to have to move. I might do that now, actually. Job done. All right. So, yeah, that, that's good. So now we've got four there. We've got four or five down the front. Uh, yeah, and that's, uh, that's, that's real good, actually. Uh, what we could do is here, and we could just put a plate on there as soon as I find them. There's one. Uh, that'd be quite good on there, I think. Uh, there was somewhere else that needed a plate, too, which I, oh, it's down there, wasn't it? Just all that, that's fine. Okay, so, yeah, that, that's, uh, that's good. I am liking that. Uh, just makes it a little bit higher than that one. Uh, and we have got a bit of vertical stuff going on, which is uh, awesome. Okay, so here, hmm, I don't know what to do here. I mean, I'm going to have to put in, like, more floor along here, but I'm just, oh, I'm just in so many different minds as to what to do. You know, do I put a tower in, which would kind of, I mean, the tower could sort of stick on the end here. Potentially. Um, yeah, that's. So uh, I guess I just make stuff and then we'll figure out kind of where things go. So if you go like that, you know, if I put these things in, then that will kind of form the backbone and hopefully everything else will just kind of slot into place. Like that, and then down here, same thing. Um, yeah, okay, I might need to just have some alone time to <laughs> to figure out what I'm doing. Um, yeah, I think we could put like a little bunk type thing in here. Might be quite cool. Uh, yeah, let's 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 do that. So what I'm thinking is a door there. Yeah, let's let's do that. So we might not even want these here. I'll oh, probably want. Oh, actually, hang on. That's not going to be big enough. Er, okay. Maybe this does become a kind of access way to get up. No, but it would have to be down here. Would would have to have it here. Hmm. Decisions, decisions, decisions. Okay. I think uh, I think you're gonna have to leave this with me for a little bit and I will figure out what I'm gonna do. Yeah, it doesn't help that those conveyors are up there. I think maybe I might need to reroute those conveyors. Can I get them in here? There's nothing in there. That might actually work better. I mean, we've got a light there, but... Do we need the light there? Do we go with some other format? Because then we could get... We could get our conveyor through here. Because I've got the grill on there, which... I don't like ticking. Um, which was sort of replicating what's happening with this one. Uh, but maybe that's not what we do. Maybe we kind of go for a different approach. Do we put one of these lights in? One of those lights. I mean, that could work. It could work. 
because then we don't really have to worry about we don't have to worry about the old um, grills or anything yeah I think I think those lights would be better and I'm just wondering whether I want these blocks or whether I go with iron because they're kind of neat but also they're not okay I think I'm gonna have a bit of a bit of a change around Okay, uh, sit rep. I've just turning the camera back on while I'm finishing this off. So I have done a bit in the last half hour, 45 minutes, something like that, probably longer actually. And uh, yeah, I've actually done the edit up until this point and boy am I out of time. Uh, and I've just spent the last whole time mumbling through changing things around. So uh, yeah, I've sort of uh, skipped, skipped to this point. And I'm just redoing this, and I think I've actually finally got it right now. Um, so I'm skipping to this point in the edit, I should say. Uh, but also in the game, I think we're going to pull the pin here for the end of the episode. There is some other stuff I want to do, which uh, I think will be a time lapsey thing, which is just load up and head off. Uh, but yeah, the I'm I'm a bit stuck. I'm a bit stuck. I do have a plan of where I need of what I need to do next. But um, I've just remembered because I did know. Uh, I'm actually out of silicon, <laughs> so I managed to get those windows done, but I didn't do these ones because, yeah, I, I spent, I used it all on this, and there wasn't really a lot on there, so I am, I am out of silicon at the moment, so that is a problem. Uh, yeah, so, oh, missing my spot there, why did you not get welded, I wonder? Somebody dropped the ball, uh, yeah, so that's... That's good. I think that that works. So this is a little observation uh, area that we can monitor things. So that's cool. Uh, I've put this, rerouted that, so that's fine. And then if we come down here, we have got more walkway. So that's up to the, up to the area. So it'll be good when it's done. Oh, I haven't got a bulkhead in here. I don't think that's going to be a problem. But too bad uh yeah so then we got down here so that's all fine and then oh uh and then i'll be able to put uh some more accommodation out here i think so that's where i'm leaving that and i'm going to put some airlocks in here but yeah i mean i don't even have enough glass to do these doors at the moment i am out very out uh yeah so i'm going to put an airlock in here same as the airlock that's over here uh, that one there and then i can put like a uh a, a connector at the end of a walkway you know sort of for the, for the big ships so i think that will do the trick so yeah so as i say that's what i'm going to call it although this is not done i think i've made some very good progress and i know where i'm going i'm uh I'm not able to complete it because I don't have the resources. So yeah, that's that's kind of where we're at. Hopefully that training post, I can't even remember what it sells, the one over at Europa, wherever that is. Uh, hopefully that sells silicon or glass um, because that's what I need. But do I, I mean, do I actually even have any money? Uh, my 781, that would be a new. Okay, well, yeah, because we've got lots of things, but not energy silicon low. or energy, okay. So yeah, that's uh, that's where I'm going to call it. Uh, there will be a little bit more in the episode. I'm just going to grab some landing pads like so. Hold on them, and that is to place down. I think we'll put one there, and we'll put one there, and we'll put one here. Oh, what, there's a whole lot of things that need well through here. Um, yeah, I'll put one there, and then I can just load up with uh, all the stuff that I need to load up with. And uh, yeah, we can, we can, uh, what's the word, weigh anchor and head to Europa. Which is where you'll find me next time. We'll start, I'll, I'll, I'll get into orbit by the uh, trading outpost. So that's where I'm headed. Um, but yeah, we don't need to see that at 100% record speed. 
Uh, yeah, so that's where I'll leave it today. So as I continue to do this, thank you everybody for joining me today. I hope you did enjoy today's episode and can join me again next time over on Europa. And until next time, as always, stay safe out there everybody and have a good one.